Oh, uh, thank you, thank you all. And oh, thank you, man, for God. <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, as Dendell says, we we come a long way uh, and done a lot of things. So I'm really, really proud to receive this statue. Uh, another standout memory to add to our shared experiences. This is awesome. First, thank you, governors, for uh, this incredible honor. Um, who knew? You know, a little kid from Chattanooga, Tennessee, watching movies and wishing he could be here, get the votes of people who run an organization like this that says, hey, I deserve something like this. Thank you so very much. And I will say, you know, when I got this call last year, it was totally unexpected, but I guarantee you, this thing's going to be cherished. As long as I've dreamt and imagined and practiced this speech, you know, I'll be a piece of cake, but it's not. <laughs> uh, together for days, Stan, my first film credit, 1972, to here, 50 years later. It's been a real pleasure making indelible impressions on audiences as gang member number two, <laughs> bum, hold up man, and the unforgettable black guy. <laughs> Just to name a few. But every little taste of this biz made me want more. All those Saturdays I spent at the Liberty and the Grand, the segregated theaters of my youth and childhood in Chattanooga, Tennessee, imagining I was Errol Flynn or Kirk Douglas or even James Cagney, even John Wayne. But uh, going home and recreating those stories with my friends or just by myself, being awed during the black exploitation era, wishing I was up on that screen and wondering, how the hell do you get in a movie like that? Discovering Peter Sellers, Bond, the Shaw Brothers, George Lucas. I knew I loved it. I just didn't know how to make it happen. And fortunately, when it did, in 1990, I was sober. Loved and supported by my wife and daughter, my reason for being, and my biggest critics, and my biggest fans. I knew uh, very little about navigating this world, but I was gifted with a wonderful publicist named Lisa Castella, who uh, had to explain to me what she did, and then she went out and did it. <laughs> then came Eli Selvin. She came to a location shoot, contract in hand for a movie and a proposition I couldn't refuse to be my manager. Thank you. She, in turn, led me to ICM and Carl Hacken, who paired me with the legend that is Tony Howard. <laughs> and Carter Cohn. And the piece de resistance showed up, my lawyer, Deborah Klein. <laughs> Too amazing to describe are the engines of what became and continues to be a rather decent career with the extra added piece of Karen Sellers. A gigantic thanks to each and every one of you for the scripts, the deals, the faith in me, the push to be better and making sure I lived in the comfort zone of knowing what the next two jobs would be. Because you know I love you for that. John Rigney in level four, a wink and a nod and a thanks for that call I asked you to make to me when you made it. The dream has been shared with my partner in crime, my critic in residence, my rock-solid foundation, and my best friend, Latanya. We wanted to be Burton and Taylor, but the Richardson Jackson Jackson parent has been quite formidable. You've allowed me to indulge my work habit to excess, a lot of times at the expense of your own ambition. This award is shared, a shared accomplishment. It's always been a two-man show. A laugh out loud, and thanks to Zoe for going to work with me all over the world, indulging my movie taste as a viewer and a daughter. And when I got the opportunity, I tried to represent this business the best I knew how. I got out there 
to entertain audiences the way Hollywood entertained me. Make them forget their lives for a few hours and be thrilled, awed, or excited at the big room where make-believe lives. Thanks to every person that's ever bought a ticket to any movie I was in. It's truly been an honor and a pleasure to entertain you. QT, thanks for the characters. Little Rob, I know you're back there. Robert Louis Stevenson, the man who created all those wigs every time I asked him, said, make me somebody, and he did. Once again, thank you, governors, for the recognition. It's an honor.